everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Well, today is February 7th, I believe, 2017. <laughs> yep. And I am finally here to do my uh, Project Pan finale for 2016, the finale. I didn't come at the end of December to show you guys where I ended up with my products. I will tell you that for the month of December, I really didn't wear any makeup. Um, yeah, I mean, I did, but not on a regular basis. So I, some of the products that I thought for sure I would have gotten through, I didn't. Um, but uh, I'll show you all of that. Let's just get right to this uh, because I want to show you what I have on my nails today because I really, really am loving this. And then I want to show you about what I decided to do with some of the shadows that I still want to use up. Um, so I'll show you that at the end here. Okay, the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer is done. I can't get any more out of this. Um, this is completely done. In fact, the fact that I didn't wear a lot of makeup uh, for the month of December helped me use this up because I did put this on instead uh, just to kind of even out my skin a little bit. So I did get to use this and I'm very, very happy this is finally gone out of my collection. All right. Oh. Gosh, I have lip gloss on and my hair sticking to it. Anyways, uh, the Bahama Mama, uh, this is what I use to contour with. I don't think there's gonna be even really much of a difference. Um, I've since stopped using this. I've been using something else that I just purchased and I love, but here it is. I'll show you a comparison shot with this one. I don't think that there is much of a difference. Um, I will pick it up here and there um, to still try to get through it. I'll figure it out. I'll see what I can do with this, but no, I didn't get through this one here. So that one's not completed. Okay, this one, I am so close to completing. This is my NYC Smooth Skin and Sunny, and this is what I used to bronze with. And there is definitely going to be a very, very uh, a big improvement on this one. Uh, I've been using this one every time I put my makeup on, so I don't see that, uh, I don't see this being in my collection very much longer. As you can see, I just have that little bit there. And that's it. So I didn't finish it, but I, I'm i definitely, I will be finishing this. I, I do see that being done soon. All right, um, my blush, this is the only blush that I had, which was uh, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. Uh, I use this every single day. I love this blush. Um, I just use it every single time I put on blush. I really don't use any other blush um, right now. And I have purchased a good number of blushes that I really need to get through, but I just really love this. It's, I don't know, I just, I'll get through it. But I think I'm gonna give it a rest for a little bit and um, start picking up some other blushes. All right, um, let's see, what else? Uh, let's do the eyeshadows. Um, okay, I'll start with the NYX Shadow Base. I had shown you that I finally had hit the bottom of it, and I keep using this, so it's definitely, um, the bottom is much more exposed now. Um, I think I'm also going to give this one a rest, and I'm going to uh, pick up my uh, MAC uh, Paint Pots. Um, because I miss using those and uh, so I'm going to give this one a little bit of a rest. I, I think I did pretty good with that one because that one was a tough cookie to get through. All right, as far as the liners, I had two liners left. I had the L'Oreal uh, Infallible in Navy and I'll be honest, I really didn't pick this up much. Recently I have been, but um, I'm not sure how much of a difference you're going to see with this one, but there's that one. And I'm going to continue to use this one, you know, when, when I want to put some navy, uh, a navy color down because it doesn't transfer into my contact lenses and I do like that about this one here. So I'll, I'll continue to use that. Uh, the other one I had left was the dark chocolate in my models prefer. And uh, this one's done. It actually came out. <laughs> I was sharpening it one day and it just popped right out and um, yeah I wasn't going to mess with it because it was really just a very tiny amount that was left. So this is gone. This is done. I got through that pretty good. Alright, as far as the shadows, um, let's start with this one. This is the Victoria Jackson in Harmony palette and I got through all of these here. I was able to get through all of these except for this one 
and um, that's just hard to get through. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm really satisfied with how I how I did with this one because this one's been in my makeup collection since I started really getting into makeup years ago. So it's just really good to finally be down to the last shadow on that palette. And I really like that last shadow. I really, really do. All right, and I'll show you what I'll do with that one. Um, this is the um, Gamera Obscura from Wet n Wild. It's the trio. And all I wanted to do was hit pan on all three of the shadows. And as you can see, I finally did hit pan on that one. So I completed everything I wanted to do with this palette. You know, even if it's just that little baby bit of pan, but I still got through it. So I'm really, really excited that I did get to accomplish it. And to be honest with you, um, soon after I made my November update, I hit pan. So I haven't been picking it up at all. But soon after I did that uh, uh, November's update, um, I used it a couple times and I hit pan right away. But I haven't been picking it up. I did use it today. But anyways, I do have an idea for these. Now the other one that I have left is, is the Wet n Wild Trios is the Knock on Wood. I didn't use it. There's, I'm not even going to show you a comparison because there is none. I just hit pan on that one and these two um, I didn't hit pan on. Oh, I do like the color. They're pretty. And they go on very, very nice. So again, I'm going to do something with this and I'll show you here what I'll do. Now the new Tude palette, uh, unfortunately this one's also going to be looking the same. I really didn't even pick it up at all. Um, the shadows are all going to be the same as before. Um, I was hoping to have gotten um, through some more, especially that yellow one because I really do like this yellow one. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't get through much of these. Uh, at least these two are completely done. But that's how that looks. Okay, so... Um, Alright, now moving on to the final thing, which is lipsticks. Um, oh, I didn't do good on these at all. Uh, let's start with the lip gloss, my only lip gloss. I do think I did pretty good with that. Um, it's down to here, right here. Um, I didn't pick it up much after I did the update video. But to be honest with you, with this one here, all I wanted to do is to get halfway through the container. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to use it up. Um, so, I mean, I actually did do that because it is halfway done. Um, so, I have it on today and I missed it. I really like this color. I really, really do. So, I technically did get through what I wanted. I had set out originally to do with that one. Uh, as far as lipsticks, oh my gosh, I didn't do good. This is the uh, Estee Lauder Envious, the red one. I didn't even touch it. I didn't even, I didn't even touch it. So there's that. That I did not complete at all. Didn't touch it. Uh, this one I really thought that I was going to get through. And I think that if I would have put on, a, you know, makeup in December or more, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that I really would have gone through this one. But that's where that one ended up. What a shame. Because <laughs> it's so close. It's so close to being completed. Um, the Kate Moss, uh, the Rimmel, uh, Kate Moss line, um, uh, number 14, uh, another one that I really was hoping that I would get through, but I didn't. So there's that one there. And the final product, I believe, is my Revlon. This is in 413 Pearl, um, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to get through this one here, but there's that comparison for you. Yeah, so that was it. Those are all, all the products that I had left. Um, I think I did pretty good. Let's see. I did what I wanted to do with this one, which was great. I did what I wanted to do with this one. And I got through the models prefer. Uh, in dark chocolate and then I got through this so I did I did pretty good I think I did I did pretty good uh, again I started this particular project pan uh, product uh, project I started this in May of last year I didn't start in January so I think I did I did pretty good oh see here's the yellow sticker on the um, buxom uh, in Dolly um, all the yellow ones were that I didn't want to complete it 
all the way. I just wanted to get halfway or hit pan or something like that. So I just wanted to show you that sticker. So I wanted to show you my cargo palette. This is the palette that you guys chose for me to use up for 2017. And this, uh, I think will be separate or uh, from, um, Monica the Diva had invited me for a Pan That Palette Challenge for 2017. I haven't even got my uh, products together, but I, I am going to work on that on this weekend and hopefully get that recorded for you guys, the intro. I'm not sure how I will incorporate this or just keep this as a separate project. I'm not sure. Uh, I have been using these um, shadows and I have them on today. I have this blue one on, a little bit of that chocolate. Uh, which is called a chestnut um, goodness and then I have uh, this one here and then this one here on today um, but I'm not sure exactly how I, how I will incorporate that with Monica the Divas um, project pan for 2017 but I'll see I'll see once I get all my products out and I'll let you know um, so I'm going to work on that this weekend because I still want to do that. I know I'm a month behind, but I still would love to join in with Monica and everybody else who's doing that collab. I'm not sure exactly who it all is, but when I do that intro video for you guys, I will link everybody who's in that collab that Monica started. All right. Um, as far as what I'm going to do with the shadows, because in the Nude Tude palette, I really do enjoy... Uh, some of the shadows I really actually the ones that I'm using I really do enjoy uh, well not this one not so much this is extremely powdery I don't like these at all but just uh, what I want to do is I want to depot this basically and then I want to depot um, this Victoria Jackson one this last one that's remaining here and the uh, Wet n Wild trios here and then some other ones that I have and what I did was yesterday I went to Ulta and I purchased the Ulta Z palette. Uh, this was $20, but I used that $3.50 coupon towards it. So it was like 17 something. Um, and I want to depot everything and put it in here. Um, this comes with um, some magnets and things like that. And this says it's the large size. So let me just show you. This says it's the large. So oh, I want to look up some videos and see exactly how to depot them without ruining the shadows because I've never done I've never depotted any shadows so I want to see first how to do it so that's it guys uh, that is my update oh I wanted to show you the nail polish that I have on today this is uh, simple colors and this is the candy Johnson line um, and this one is called uh, this is a uh, jam out And I'm not sure if that's picking up, but there's some iridescence to it. It's such a gorgeous color. I don't have anything like this. It's a pearlescent pink with iridescence. And I'm not sure if that's picking up on camera. Hopefully it is. There you go. But it is gorgeous. I got this one at Walgreens. This is where I found this one here. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, they have she has another one I don't know what it's called but it's the uh, baby pink but it looks like a powdery baby pink oh it looks beautiful but I'm gonna go pick that one up all right guys that's it that is my update I'm sorry that I got this up late for you guys but uh, I thought maybe some of you still might be interested interested to see where I ended up with uh, my project pan for 2016 and look out for that intro I'm gonna work Actually, what I'm going to do, I had planned because I got so much new makeup and my drawers and everything is just really, really, they're not organized anymore. I really want to organize my stuff. And then as I organize them, I will pick um, my project, um, my products for my project 2017 project pan. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit of a tongue twister. Anyways, my friends, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.